So this is an example of how you do what you might call a partial page refresh in Oracle Math. So we have an application and we're going to create one feature here called PPR and this is going to be a single AMX page PPR as well. So on this page what we're going to do is um, let's take and actually use a table layout here as an example. Okay, and inside the table layout we're going to create two rows one, two, and each side one of the rows we're going to create a cell like that. So in the second cell we're going to have a button okay, that's the second row basically and in the first cell we're going to use a list component, so let's use a list view over here. And the idea is that we want this area to actually be hidden initially and then by doing an operation on this list we want the button to show up. Okay. So to do the hiding we can basically go over here to the render then set it to false for example for the whole row but because we want it to change dynamically we're not going to hard code it in here instead we're going to create a managed bin okay so we're going to create a new java class and I'm going to call it backing PPL okay and inside here I'm going to create a boolean property called show it and we're going to start with the value being false and I should learn how to spell boolean probably alright um, and then let's create accessors right? so here comes the one thing you need to learn from this video always have this option on okay it basically creates uh, notify listeners when a property change and those notify listeners are the thing that would cause the UI to actually change dynamically so when you click this you'll see those property change file property change events added to your code okay whenever you do a set for this value over here so this is our uh, java class and now we need to define it as a manage bin because we're using a single page our manage bin is going to be defined here in the adfc mobile config if you have a task flow it would be in the specific task flow you're using so we're creating a new manage bin, we're going to call it backing PPR and in terms of class it's going to be mapped to the uh, backing PPR class. And we're going to keep the view scope here. Alright, so now back to our page. What we're going to say is that for the second row the rendered property is going to be derived from this begging PPR show it field okay and now we need to actually change the value based on events so for the list item that we have here okay we can use an operation tag so we're going to use the set property listener that we're dropping on the list item and we're going to set it to be um, true set it into our show it okay and we're going to do it for example on a swipe right okay and then we can actually uh, duplicate this line of code okay um, we want a unique ID for this one and then we're going to set it to false okay uh, when we're going to do a swipe left And that's it. Let's run our application. So here's our application and initially there's nothing here unless we're doing swipe to the right and then it shows up and if we're doing swipe to the left it disappears. Okay. And all you're doing, here, and again, like just a click doesn't work. It, you actually need to do a swipe.
because it's driven by the operation. So that's all you need. Basically, a backing bin that has the property chain support in it.